During his teenage years, Stephen Gardner was not only a competitive volleyball player, but also participated in track events. Despite his interest in shorter sprints, his high school coach recognized his towering height, long strides, and exceptional speed, convincing him that the 400 meters would be his true domain. Thus began Gardner's journey as a 400-meter runner. In just two years, at the age of 20, he underwent a remarkable transformation, evolving from a 50-second runner to an elite quarter-miler, consistently breaking 45 seconds. His breakthrough to another level came at the age of 22, during the World Championships in London, where he broke the 44-second barrier for the first time in his career. In the semifinals, facing off against Fred Curley, he went out with super-aggressive acceleration, covering the first 200 meters in a suicidal 20.78 seconds. Pushing through the pain, Gardner crossed the finish line in 43.89 seconds, collapsing right after. 43.9! My goodness me! The only thing I would say, hope he's left something for the final. However, standing in his way of glory was his formidable rival, Wei Van Nieker, the reigning world champion, Olympic gold medalist, and world record holder. Van Niekerk strategically conserved energy for the rounds, leaving exhausted Gardner no chances in the final. Undeterred by this setback, Gardner's quest for greatness continued. In the following year's early April, he demonstrated his extraordinary speed, running the 200 meters in 19.75 seconds. His smooth and effortless running style made it evident that Gardner had his sights not only on the world title but possibly on breaking the world record. During his 400-meter season opener at the Diamond League in Doha, Gardner's mastery reached unparalleled heights. Starting with a leisurely acceleration around the bend, he covered the first 100 meters in 11.3 seconds. Similarly relaxed and seemingly effortless, he eased down the straight in 10.5 seconds, reaching the 200-meter mark in 21.8 seconds. While such a moderate start might not typically promise extraordinary results, Gardner wasn't going to slow down. Maintaining a very steady and even pace, he ran the second turn in 10.8 seconds, with a split time of 32.6 at the 300-meter mark. With no signs of fatigue, he appeared relaxed and light on his feet, decisively pulling away from his competitors in the last 100 meters with a blistering 11.3 seconds, crossing the finish line in 43.87. This race set a gold standard for the 400 meters, epitomizing effortless grace and balance. Surprisingly, Gardner never used this race model again, adopting a highly aggressive approach for the first half. This strategic shift proved fruitful as he secured victories at the World Championships in Doha and the Olympic Games in Tokyo. Since the disappointing defeat in the 400-meter final at the 2017 World Championships in London, Gardner hasn't lost a single 400-meter race. Recently, at the Continental Tour in Hungary, he returned to peak form, running a world-leading time of 43.74 seconds. Interestingly, he needed an extremely fast 20.7 seconds for the first 200 meters to finish just 13 hundredths of a second faster than his race in Doha five years ago. But there is an explanation for this race strategy. Such an inhumanly fast early pace strikes fear into competitors and easily disrupts any opponent's race plan. Despite the grueling and painful recovery following such pacing, most 400-meter runners worldwide tend to favor unrestrained early aggression with a painful finish over grace and ease throughout the whole race. As of now, no one has been able to resist this tactic except the great Michael Johnson.